all those qualities into you. But please take his advice and have those qualities in you. They will stand you in good stead. Now that you are embarking on a sea career, yes, it is a demanding career. It requires you to put in long hours, stay away from family. Of course, adjust to various kinds of foods cooked by cooks of various nationalities. So some of the challenges would be new and at the same time very interesting as well. You will have a lot of stories to tell. But within the qualities, integrity, moral values, ethics, some things that will hold very, very dear to you and they will take you ahead to places. You will have opportunities, you will have situations where you will be tested. I'm sure you all heard of the magic pipe. Okay. An invention of some marine engineer or one of the engine room worker, which has possibly helped a few companies and also put a few seafarers behind bars. So the point that I'm trying to make, you will have opportunities on both the sides. Right? Try and stay on the right side of the law. There is more fun there. There is more success on this side of the law. And on the wrong side, there is more punishment. Right? So do not test your luck. Stay on the right side. Yes, your engineering career is a demanding one and a hands-on career. We as engineers or in India as engineers, we do think that engineering or engineers are white collar workers. But at, on the ships, for the first 10, 12 years, 15 years while you're on the ship, even at the level of the chief engineer, you are still a hands-on engineer. Not only that, when you come as a superintendent to the office, you are still expected to show your expertise on the ships with various types of ships. Some of you might be going on ships which were built 20 years ago. And starting today, some of you might be working on ships which will be built 20 years from now. So the technology is changing. There has been a vast change in the ships when they were built in 2000, 2002, and what would be built in 2042. We are already talking of unmanned ships. Of course, it will take time. But within your career, you can expect you can expect to see changes which from today's ships will possibly go to one man ships in the next 20, 30 years. And some of you might be sitting and operating those ships or monitoring those ships from the office. What I'm trying to put across is do not stay behind in technology. Keep up with times. Right? We will have developments coming in. What we have given you is the basic training. And from here on, you develop that training. You still remain a part of the Institute. Stay connected with us. Come back to the Institute whenever you have a chance. Share your experiences with the future batches. That will help us in what is happening on ships of the future. And at the same time, it will be highly motivating for the future cadets. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the best in your career. Thank you, sir. I now request Mr. Birbadkar to kindly address the cadets, parents, and the faculty. <laughs> 